sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. I was a runner. Hello. The day is going well so far, despite the fact that it's raining. About to get some food in us. And it's actually very beautiful, despite the fact it's raining. Or maybe because it's raining. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just dumped the coffee beans into the water. And you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a hotel. Like every morning you wake up in a hotel and the smell is just like this. Mmm. Gritty. <laughs> instant coffee, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I could have brought instant coffee. That would have been smarter. I mean, as you chew the, the coffee grinds, it tastes pretty good, so. <laughs> Thanks again to Meredith for giving us these snacks, like these olives, packed loose without the juice. <laughs> Very salty. Oh, oh, mama! Unfortunately, my lens pouch fell off of my backpack. We haven't gone far from the campsite though, so no big deal. But I'm not seeing it yet. It's not at our campsite, so I'm wondering if I just put it in a different compartment in my bag. I don't know, that's the best lens I have, so I definitely will take the effort to find it wherever it's at. <laughs> I literally can't, <laughs> I can't fathom how it got over here. There it is. <laughs> Like, I took my pack off over here, and unless I just flung it, like, <laughs> shot putting it over there. It's like a test of Greedo. <laughs> Instead of these unexplained miracles, he just pulls these pranks on you. <laughs> unexplained tragedy. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> how, how dedicated are you to the cause? Wow, this looks really good on the LCD. <laughs> now we can finally get the shot. <laughs> Tripod. Okay, so we, well maybe I shouldn't talk about it in the vlog to not ruin the surprise. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're hiking to the top of a mountain. Look at these flowers. We've been hiking up this mountain for 30 minutes. <laughs> Taking a while. Mountains in the distance. Looks really cool. It's like a Chinese painting. Cloud tops on the mountain top. That doesn't make any sense, does it? It's leveling out. That should be the top right there. Wow, this is quite a hill. Can you see those mountains behind me? Oh man, almost there. I'm gonna take a quick lunch break once we get to the top here. This reminds me a lot of the Smokies right now. Yeah. Those foggy mountains in the distance. We're still trekking along here. It's very quiet right now. I think we're on the top of like a ridge. This is called like Buck Ridge or something trail. Listen to how quiet it is. Super nice day. If this next portion is not the top, I think we're just gonna have to camp right here. I was thinking about how the first time we came to Shenandoah, it was uh, like not the most impressive scenery. Um, like we were in a valley and it was just forested and like there weren't any huge views or anything like this. Yeah. But I still remember being blown away because 
there was one moment where we were like standing in the middle of a stream and it was our first backpacking trip and I was just, I looked down the stream and I was like, I could walk anywhere I wanted to right now mm. and no one would tell me not to like step on their yard or their grass or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was weird how free that area felt. Yeah. Like even though there was a trail, it kind of felt like it was very, it was almost like we were going off trail like we did in Morgan Monroe. Mm -hmm. How many days and nights did we stay there? We spent two nights. That sounds about right. I felt like a year went by <laughs> just at that campsite. <laughs> well, also remember we had that like breakfast nook. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and we brought, brought sausages. A giant like gas stove. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheese filled sausages. Oh, they were yeah. Remember we didn't have any utensils, so we were carving spoons <laughs> out of our used water bottle. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were like drinking soup out of the can. I forgot stuff. about that one. Wow. Yeah. Have you guys heard of the bystander effect? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens to us so hard, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Every time we go anywhere, we just assume the other person has done the due diligence. <laughs> or packed the utensils, or packed the, the bowls, whatever. I've been wrong every time, too. <laughs> I think that was a good day too. <laughs> Tomorrow's the final day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for liking, coming, and subscribing. We will see you tomorrow. Right here, we've got the brine beast in his natural habitat. Clearly, He's taking a nap. Now, you don't want to wake a resting bear. You can get very silly. All right, over in the distance, we've also got a roaming Andrew beast. I don't know where he is though. Andrew beast! Yo beast! <laughs> Yo, beast!